Welcome back to Captain America Super Soldier. All right, let's proceed to actually free the other, free the other, you know, prisoners. Right. We still have to free also Dugan and Falsworth, but uh, you know, the unfortunately, priorities take place here with uh, what Bucky has told us. There we go. All right. Good going. Is there a way to open that bulkhead door? Not from here. We need your help with that. There should be a control panel on the observation deck above you. Well, let's go there then. Okay then. <laughs> Up to go. I think that's the level, but I was checking here just to see if I could get uh, um, there go um, an item. I think I just cut in because otherwise, yeah, there, there is a lot of stuff that I did cut in just for the sake of me exploring and to see if I could get uh, trinkets here and there. Mm -hmm. What an overcomplicated gate! Oh, freedom! Well, almost. We'll need to make sure that the train reaches uh, the other side. There we go. Yeah, see? There's our, there are trenches and bunkers, so we need to actually get rid of them. Um, are you sure about that, Steve? Yeah. Maybe you should have considered that before telling them to go full speed ahead. I guess he considered time was of the essence, but don't we... worry, his shield is strong enough to do all of that. N not enough, we just only scratched that of something that they shouldn't have been able to, you know, hit. We, we will find a conveniently placed to right up above, thankfully. Thankfully, this is one escort mission that is actually really st uh, stress-free for you to handle. It helps that the train is moving slowly enough for you to get what you need to get done done. Yeah, and I, 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 it doesn't start moving basically until you reach the position with the turret, basically. It's actually very convenient. Uh, especially because, there you go, especially because first we need to get rid of the current occupant of the turret. That missile turret's just for the doctor. Excuse me, sir, but I do need to re do require the usage of your instrument. Thank you. Kill two birds, one stone. Let's blow shit up. <laughs> there you go. Just be careful not to hit the train itself. That would be very awkward if we did. But let's let's keep uh, blowing more. That's actually fun. Yay! Oh, the train's a bit on fire, but don't worry, oh, it'll hold it's together. Fine. It's fine, Drova, don't worry. Hmm. And it could be again if they come after you. So let's make sure they don't. Yeah, we need to destroy the bridge. Peggy told me you boys have artillery. I can definitely use some. Yeah, now we need to use one of the radar dish. This is like that to pinpoint the coordinates that we need to. There you go. The, the, the coordinates that we need to use, you know, for pointing to Morita to destroy the bridge. So let's align like this and just keep it going. There you go. Boop. There we go. Now the prisoners are safe. One of the POWs overheard a code cipher Zola used to get deeper into the labs. It's Delta 117 Fox. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Copy. Thanks, Buck. Now get those men clear. I'm going back in to find Dugan and Falsworth. But let's see if I actually also get can get that item beforehand. Actually, no, actually, I'm moving forward. Or I think it's uh, it's later on anyway. 
Alright, for this one, yeah, it's an easy one, too. There you go. Alright. Oh. I think someone or something has escaped to the labs. Show you totally. that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, nope. let's move on. But first, uh, yeah, I think it was a like, yeah, I noticed the ladder beforehand. Here we go. I think it, there's another gun that you can sabotage. There it is. There you go. Oh yeah, for the for some of them you don't need to place the explosive, but instead just tinker with the electricity like you did for some other devices. But you still need to you know get clear enough. So. Yay! Wow, well talk about an old time explosion. How does that do? I simply had to short circuit the the mother box to cause the explosion. This hydro technology is very faulty. We. Anyway, I think in this part we'll also find the introduction to a uh, new enemy type, but the one that we heard uh, escaping. Because actually, yeah, we have to go through the lab from uh, uh, the other side that we were previously into. Mm. Let's get the dossier first. Unfortunately, later on in the game, the items like the minor items like the dossier don't give you that much experience, uh, but it's still best if you collect them as much as you can. Oh, hey, somebody knocked out Hydra soldiers for us. That Someone nice. who's not uh, clearly Dugan, and not, you know, Steve, yeah. because we just get here. And it couldn't have been Winter Soldier. Not yet, Jova. Hmm. <laughs> Uh oh, the capsules that Zola was uh, showing us before, and now they're empty. That's a problem. All empty. Yeah. Attention, all laboratory personnel. There is a code 12 evacuation in progress. Follow all standard protocols. And by evacuation, I be B, because I'm just going to leave all behind here to die. Surprisingly enough, no. Remember, Zola is act actually wants to put these experiments on global scale, so I'm pretty sure he wants to keep at least some of the troops alive. Ooh. An invisible foe. No, not necessarily. Someone who can use a ranged attack. The Screamer. People with some... Telepathic attacks. Don't use your shield because we do that. Oh snap! It looks like a, it looks like a, it looks like a reject battle joint from Star Wars. This is where the enemies start to become tougher because as long as we have the barrier there, you unless you use special attacks, you cannot harm them. What you need to do is either, hold on. I have to find Dugan and Fallsworth now. You, it's either counter their sound waves with your shield, a shield counter attack that you, you would use for a projectile, you know, or um, we use the, the super move because otherwise, if you throw the shield, they will, you know, block it uh, kinetically and then throw it away, not even in your face, so throw it away so you cannot use it anymore. Or and the attacks will basically immediately counter by them trying to attack and when you when you need to like and you have to resolve a QTE in order to not get damage. Mm. The good news is that if you use the weaponizer special move on them, you will be able to use their sound blast to defeat also enemies nearby. I will give a showcase of that in the extras part. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, 
If you manage to parry, if you manage to parry enough of her screams, uh, their bear will actually go down and will be disoriented for a while. So that's your chance to strike. Ow. Ugh. Doesn't. There you go, now. Oh, that guy's leg is left sticking up. Home. Well, that's that's called good to I'm know. Sure I'm sure great comfort. You will well, die knowing that you are uh, helping to serve the evil people. Remember, Dweebs, all Hydra units and members seem to be very committed to their to their cause. Again. They will die happily for it uh, and mock, you know, spit in your face, telling you that your efforts are for nothing. Think about it like this: the Hydra are pretty much the super evil Nazis. Like the Nazis were evil. And then you have Hydra, who are supposed to be super evil. The thing that even Nazis would scuff at. And it's something so that evil. can be used conveniently to avoid mention directly Nazis, because if there's one thing that this game has done, you may have noticed that he hasn't mentioned Hitler or the Nazis directly. This was probably to surpass the censorship that Germany still had at this point, regarding medias that incorporate the Nazism. Anyway, let's see what uh, the creation of Zola have been for these screamers. At some point, Zola, this has to stop. You're kind of creating monsters. It happens, I guess. Direct connection of electrodes to the brain produces severe side effects, including seizures and violent vocal outbursts. I am planning a control mechanism for the helmet. But until it is perfected... Oh, look at that! Their mouths are stitched shut. Stitched them. Not should just to silence them properly. Even though we've seen plenty have been able to rip those stitches asunder just to scream. Mind control and remote projection of consciousness. Hmm... Once the stuff of myth and legend, these things can be explained through science. <laughs> Simply requires... Totally, dude. And no ethics at all. I mean, sky's the limit where you don't give a shit. <laughs> exactly. Those pesky ethics are just something that get in the way of technology. Therefore, pussy is over. <laughs> yeah. I am betrayed. Aww. What a shock. I perfected adhesive X that Vermin Zola orchestrated an accident. And there you go, that's what happened. In this, in this continuity, it's not Captain America who scarred uh, Z Baron Zemo with the Aziz Vex, uh, it was Zola, but making sure that he would be knocked out and Hydra could take control of his riches. It was anything but a misfortune. But my revenge. My revenge shall be fearsome to behold. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll just leave it to that my successor. Far far than I realized. While I lay convalescing. Zola and the skull have been methodically eliminating those of What if like he was giving one of these diary entries but then he was killed midway through and then it was submitted anyway? Uh Dweb's uh Softbox took a truth did that joke. Yeah. Besides, this is not technically even an audio log, this is just a diary that the game has a convenient vocal track by Steel Blount to make it easier be like, for you. It'd be like uh, that Monty Python movie where it's like the castle Ah. ah. Died well, uh, they, they, they kind of do that at the end of it, but basically there's a, what, it do, what it does is like, basically, uh, there's an entire sequence in Secret Trooper, it's basically a big uh, parody of the data log, uh, slash video log, slash audio log uh, trope that games follow. Um, hold on. Okay, calm down. Sounds like um, we caught her in the bad time. But yeah, time. there's this uh, side, one of these side chapters <laughs> that happens in between days uh, in the South Park City or Trophies, where you get kidnapped by an alien ship, uh, and you keep writing these audio logs of this bomb uh, that is being kidnapped as well, and he keeps ranting about it. He, he can't find resources, only more and more audio logs, uh, so he keeps recording just to be sure. Dugan. Yeah. There's Dugan. Time for the... Here I come to save the day! 
Almost seems too easy, but might as well. Well, not not exactly. We need to neutralize this creamer, is it? Liberate Dugan from the surge of pain. Yeah. Bonk. Basically, it's, uh, he keeps saying stuff like, uh, all I keep doing is finding more and more audio logs. Uh, each audio log is more inane and a useless. Wow, blast. look at what? this. He can literally use a telekinetic yeah, yeah, as a cannon. Yeah, I actually forgot. They show also here the weaponized feature. That's actually nicer. But yeah, yeah that's... that's... I got a question. How does he force a telekinetic to use its powers? I don't know. Still do good. I'll have you free in a second. Are you hurt? Not at least we kept his vow we're at. Huh? Be when I get my hands around your necks. <laughs> do you know where they took Fallsworth? He was on that table not five minutes ago. They had him drugged. God knows what they're... Uh-huh. That witch. This is actually more of a plot point that was uh, supposed to happen. We will see more of this in the storyboard section because the, the, the final portion of the story was slightly changed compared to its concept art that the original game was supposed to have. Alone? Oh, I won't be alone. Oh, yeah. Now, the, now Dugan decides to go full Doom Marine and arms himself with one of the Scorcher's weapons. To destroy the, the anti-air cannon. Which way did she take him? The freight elevator. Probably the best way for me to get topside too. <laughs> what was that Zola that you said that to carry the weapon you need to lobotomize the people? Huh. Maybe he miscalculated. Or it was just an excuse. Alright, All right. how, ma how no, many fight. more of you are there? Eventually, he finds a, there's a final audio log that we find where he where he gets in, while he was recording the audio log, he got infected with the zombie effect and he starts going. I don't think I. Ah, ah. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there's also a payoff yeah. because you actually get to get to meet and actually fight the bomb. Unfortunately, he's in he's not the zombie state and you have to put it on his misery. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, 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 what I was more getting at was um, you know. Uh, you know, the guy's giving a speech, whatever. He, uh, but while he's talking, he gets like shot and killed by some. Mm. Seen that happen in things like Command and Conquer, where um, where a guy was giving you a mission, but then he gets killed by his boss. Shot mm. clean for him. Well, not clean per se, because you know, he mm -hmm. shot through the head. You know what I mean? Funny, Red. considering that uh, Command and Conquer know. also has a, has a major antagonist, Yuri, a guy who can be a sort of a telepath. But... Yes, Pedro? Otherwise, we already know how much you're a fan of uh, sudden shooting of people. What? I mean, I mean it's, it's very effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah it monologue. really is. I mean, rather than, yeah, I mean, rather than monologuing about how you're gonna kill them or doing stupid, drawn out ways to kill them, you just shoot them and they're dead. No Flammers. wonder. No wonder you love it. I mean, it's less fun. So, what you're saying, Dribs, is you sly dog, you got me monologuing. Yeah, exactly. No wonder you like Logan so much. Yeah, 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 you know, I mean, I love, um, I mean, as much as I like, uh, as much as I like, um, Cause. Uh, Richard oh. Grant as an actor, you know, it's, it's, you know, I mean, you know, the typical villain cliché I mean, but I mean, even at that point in, in you know, the yeah, Wolverine was just getting sick of the whole face shot him. <laughs> Several times, mind you, but yeah. Oh, no, I think he just shot him once in the head, and that was it. Oh, I think his, 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 um, his head shot it lasted, and he... You got it, and you, and, and you know, you know you've been disgraced when Wolverine doesn't even bother taking you on with his claws, but just shoots you. Yeah. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, let me guess. We get to the limo, but the limo's already been overtaken by people from Hydra. They take him to their base. No, no. Yeah. All right, in the next part, we will... Uh, try to rescue False Water, but in the process of fight, uh, Madame Hydra. So, see you for that. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye.